Our ears are very interesting, even how the eardrum works itself, how it perceives frequency. It's We have a tiny little bone that's holding on to a water sack. And most people think of sound waves as like, I hit this particle and this particle travels to your ear, but it's not. I hit this particle and that particle bumps into another one that moves it ever so slightly. And it's a ripple. Mm. Sound is a ripple. I feel like the CSF fluid that's moving in this rhythm and that all of our circulation systems are moving. If we can create an optimal flow, our magnetism ripples farther out, if that makes any sense. No, that totally makes sense. That's the marriage that I see. The CSF fluid is this pump of inner light, really. (laughs) And we want it to touch everything, but we can train the brain to have more things for it to touch. (laughs) I wonder, maybe you know, you're aware of this. Um, of something like this. Has there been any studies done where they take an athlete who is, you know, one of the best athletes in their respective sport and hook up, hook them up to these sort of microphones? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what what are they called again? E- um, the electroencephalogram was and the old school model. They EEG, have, EEG yeah. essentially. Okay. So they hook them up to an EEG while they are performing their craft and they are articulating that they're in sort of a flow state. Do you know what brainwave state they're in when they're in this sort of flow state? Because a lot of athletes will describe that when they're in this flow state, they're not consciously thinking about their next move whatsoever. It's just naturally coming to them. 